In earlier video, we discussed the use of maturity model in HR analytics. Here we will talk about using capability model in HR analytics. When you use a capability model in HR analytics, you use a structured framework to evaluate, improve, and maximize an organization's human resource analytics capabilities so that you can make decisions based on data. A capability model shows the main knowledge, skills, tools, and methods that are needed to use HR analytics to drive strategic HR initiatives and improve the performance of an organization. Now let's discuss in detail how to use the capability model in HR analytics. We should first start with the definition of what a capability model is. So by definition, a capability model is a framework that defines the essential capabilities, resources, and infrastructure needed to achieve specific business objectives or outcomes. In the context of HR analytics, a capability model outlines the competencies, processes, and tools required to leverage HR data for strategic decision making and organizational effectiveness. The objectives of using capability models in HR analytics. The primary objectives of using a capability model in HR analytics are number one, assess the organization's current HR analytics capabilities and identify strengths, weaknesses, and gaps. Number two, Define the essential capabilities and resources needed to build and sustain effective HR analytics practices. Number three, develop a roadmap and action plan for enhancing HR analytics capabilities and maturity. Number four, align HR analytics initiatives with organizational goals and priorities. Number five, Measure and monitor progress in building HR analytics capabilities and driving business impact. Now let's uh, discuss some of the key dimensions of a capability model. The first key dimension of capability model in the context of HR analytics is data management and governance. This dimension focuses on the organization's ability to collect, manage, and govern HR data effectively. It includes data quality, data security, data privacy, and compliance with regulatory requirements. The second dimension is analytical skills and competencies. This dimension assesses the organization's proficiency in data analysis statistical modeling, data visualization, and interpretation of HR analytics insights. It includes competencies such as data literacy, critical thinking, and problem solving skills. The third dimension is technology infrastructure and tools. This dimension evaluates the organization's technology infrastructure, platforms, and tools supporting HR analytics initiatives. It includes human resource information system, analytics software, data warehouses, and visualization tools. The next dimension is strategic alignment and business impact. This dimension examines the extent to which HR analytics initiatives are aligned with organizational goals and priorities and contribute to driving business impact and value. It includes factors such as stakeholder engagement, strategic planning, and measurement of HR analytics ROI. The last dimension is culture and change management. This dimension assesses the organizational culture and readiness for analytics driven change. It includes factors such as leadership support, employee buy-in, 
and communication strategies to foster a data driven culture now we shall talk about uh, various stages of capability model as applied to hr analytics the first stage is called the foundational stage in the foundational stage businesses have set up the most basic hr analytics tools and methods they might use spreadsheets or simple analytics tools to process and report data by hand or manually building stage during the building stage businesses spend money on fundamental skills like data management improving their analytical capabilities and making their technology infrastructure stronger they might use human resource information system that is hris or analytics platforms to make gathering and analyzing data easier advancing stage in this stage companies improve their hr analytics by learning more advanced analytical skills using predictive modeling and data visualization tools and incorporating hr analytics into the processes of making strategic decisions leading stage in the leading stage companies have a lot of experience with hr analytics and are seen as leaders in their field they have strong processes for managing data advanced analytical tools and a strong culture of making decisions based on data hr analytics in this stage is part of strategic planning and drives business performance and new ideas now there are various implementation considerations that we need to watch out when we are talking about implementing the capability model in the hr analytics the first implementation consideration is assessment and gap analysis the first step in using a capability model is to do a full assessment of hr analytics capabilities in each dimension described earlier organizations should find gaps and areas for improvement and then set priorities for actions based on those findings roadmap and action plan for hr analytics capabilities to grow a roadmap and action plan must be made to improve their hr analytics companies should set clear goals milestones and initiatives and then make sure they have the right resources to carry them out change management and stakeholder engagement change management and stakeholder engagement are critical for successful implementation of hr analytics initiatives organizations should involve key stakeholders including hr leaders business leaders and employees in the process and communicate the benefits and importance of hr analytics effectively continuous improvement and measurement hr analytics is an ongoing process and companies should keep an eye on their progress and see how their hr analytics skills improve over time setting key performance indicators and metrics to check how well and how much an hr analytics project is helping is important for promoting continuous improvements next we shall talk about some benefits and outcomes of using capability models in hr analytics the first benefit or outcome of using capability models in hr analytics is informed decision making using a capability model in hr analytics enables organizations to make more informed data driven decisions about workforce planning talent management and organizational strategy 
enhanced performance and efficiency. Advancing HR analytics capabilities enables organizations to improve performance, efficiency, and effectiveness in HR operations and processes. Improved strategic alignment. By aligning HR analytics initiatives with organizational goals and priorities, organizations can ensure that HR investments contribute to strategic objectives and business outcomes. Competitive advantage. Organizations that achieve high levels of HR analytics capability gain a competitive advantage by leveraging HR data to drive innovation, optimize workforce performance, and adapt to changing market conditions. To sum up, we can say that using a capability model in HR analytics gives companies a structured way to evaluate, build, and improve their HR analytics skills in order to support strategic HR initiatives and improve the overall performance of the company. Remember that a maturity model tends to measure HR analytics activities such as whether a certain tool or process has been implemented. In contrast, the capability models are outcome based, which means you need to use measurements of key outcomes to confirm that changes results in improvement.